But for now, we turn to the latest on the roadmap to reopening in Ontario. The province has laid out its plan to start lifting COVID-19 restrictions, but tonight there's an ongoing debate over that go-slow approach and where that will leave businesses. CTV's Queen's Park Bureau Chief Colin DeMello joins us live with that story. Colin. Well, just 10 days to go, Nathan, until the first step of that economic reopening. And tonight, the business community tells me they are moving ahead with some trepidation because no one wants to get tripped up in case the government has to extend some of these measures. While shuttered businesses across Ontario are welcoming the reopening in 10 days, they are also worried about a potential setback. Really cautious about what, what they do and how much uh, stuff they order and keep on hand because no one wants to get into another situation where they're caught with a lot of uh, stock. Premier Doug Ford outlined a reopening plan in three phases beginning January 31st. That'll see capacity limits slowly phased out over the next three months. The go slow approach, health experts say, makes sense given where we are in the pandemic. A leveling off and a plateauing of hospital admissions, a leveling off and plateauing of ICU admissions. But the government has warned that the peak of ICU and hospital admissions will only come in mid-February. The situation is so precarious that the government will not say when operating rooms can once again reopen, as hospitals deal with record levels of patients and staffing shortages as well. People who work in the operating rooms have been redeployed to other areas of the hospitals because of issues around staffing and staff shortages. And so businesses have been warned the reopening could be paused if the situation worsens. It is really hard to be confident both as a business owner and as a customer when you hear, hey, things are going to be open, but we won't hesitate. And for business owners in particular, not knowing what those thresholds are that will trigger those decisions makes it really tough. In the meantime, businesses yes. have been losing money and will continue to lose cash with capacity limits. The Ford government will begin sending out $10,000 grants in February to affected businesses. But after the original Ontario program was subject to fraud, businesses will now be sent a questionnaire to verify that they are eligible. That they have received losses um, and that they are still in business. The information, the government says, will be checked against their own records before a business can receive the funds. And Restaurants Canada says while it is welcoming the $10,000 being offered by the Ford government, which should be landing at bank accounts sometime in February, they say for most businesses it could only cover expenses and won't nearly be able to cover the losses incurred during the last few weeks and with the 50% capacity limits still to come. Reporting live, I'm Colin DeMello. Nathan and Michelle, over to you.